I got a new top which just came in the post and I think it's really fitting for this video. So, let the credits roll. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, there was a video I hoped I'd never ever make and this video is literally me losing everything. This waterproof case, no water was going to destroy this. Okay, this is my very personal account of what happened. First of all, I went to La Tomatina in Spain where we were chucking tomatoes and that was a really testing environment for all my gear. I bought this little pouch, which was like a waterproof pouch with a string going around your neck where I put my G7X and my iPhone in because I didn't want them to go all wet and die on me. So I, I was being really proactive like that. <laughs> Together, that cost me about £800. You see, the string around your neck, it was one of those cheap, mass-produced products. So the worst case scenario happened, which was the string broke and my gear inside the pouch fell into the puddle of tomato juice which was being created above me. It's really funny because I thought I'd make a video just about this because I had someone else come up to me, approach me and ask, have you seen my phone? This already happened to someone and they already lost it for good. So I thought, okay, this is a great video until it happened to me, you see? But then thankfully, God, thankfully, this one guy, it literally fell right in front of his, his vision and then he like <laughs> tapped me and was like, Mate, get your stuff. I was like, respect, handshake, moment. Oh, you know, when I set out to do this, I didn't want this to be a stressful thing, but I'm realizing it, it can be. So it's just about managing that because this happened about six weeks ago and it's taken me that long to come back to this. But I want to share the story so you guys don't have to go through the same, to be fair. Okay, so that was a really close call from before. The next, I was on a strip called Loret de Mar in Spain in this moment, in northeast Spain, Catalonia. And the next weekend, I took a day trip to Barcelona. In Barcelona, unfortunately, I met these amazing girls. They actually gave me change for my cash when I was trying to get a ticket to get onto the tube. And then we ended up talking and they invited me to the beach and I was going to the beach anyway so I thought I'd come along. Oh seriously, I'm so glad I met them. And they invited me to come and stay at the hotel they work at in Vienna, which I'm gonna accept. And likewise, of course. But long story short, my, my pouch with 600 quids worth of gear, my G7X, which I'm recording with now, about 10 SD cards, batteries, Almost everything I had, 600 pounds worth of gear was stolen, was swiped off me. When you go to, on holiday, especially like from like England, it's like everyone's kind of got their materialist stuff. But it would appear in Barcelona on the beach, a lot of people come from around, from everywhere. They come during the holiday to pick on vulnerable people which are just coming to have a good time and who haven't got their guard up. And that wasn't it. The story gets even better. I'm lying with my gear on the beach and then a couple big waves just come and hit my bag. And then my, my remote, remote controller was made wet. I got my spare one from the previous one I broke. So I'm gonna try to marry up and fix it. But essentially my, my drone doesn't work, does it? look I have three batteries I got one of the drone and two spare if you look at this basically the battery got swollen a little bit of water hit it and you know what now I really understand the warning on these batteries when it says don't put in contact with water because not only is it dangerous but 
your battery won't work. And I've tried everything. I put this in rice, I've left this in the sun, I've left this in the warm, well-ventilated room, and nothing's happened. When you click this, the battery, and then this is the second one which doesn't work. The only one which works was the battery that was crushed by a car previously. And if you look at that, it works. The light goes on and this actually creates charge to make the Phantom fly. So two down, 150 pounds worth of gear and just about got this to still work. Anybody want to buy them off me? And then, you know what? And the worst thing when all of this was happening is I didn't have my G7X which is shooting this video on hand and my, my iPhone wasn't working because it was also wet. The, the thing is, when my pouch was stolen that kind of took my attention but then soon after I was quickly realising a lot of my gear was, was ruined. I mean, here my Polaroid, there's, there's still loads of sand in here, unfortunately. The battery connections have rusted a little bit, I'm going to have to get some sandpaper. Investing in some new batteries to test. Oh God, I'm really sorry about this. I was meant to be just making nice videos. Yes, yes, the light has come on. Okay, okay, we're good. Putting on the house setting, come on. Oh God, there's a, all the red lights are going on. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm, I've been trying for now a while. Okay. This is my portable charger. It's just all gooey inside. Okay, because another problem I have is my phone was slightly made wet, right? I have also put it in rice, put it in the sun, just prayed and anything I could do, <laughs> but nothing. Problem with this is I need my iPhone to fly this, and sometimes everything on my iPhone just starts going haywire, and it just has a mind of its own, which is something I can't be having, because that could lead to a crash. So, I thankfully have my old iPhone 4 and I'm going to have to make that my new iPhone specially used to command this baby. It's getting a bit complicated, isn't it? One thing goes wrong and there's a cascade of after events that you just almost can't stop. Unless you just do nothing, of course. Or unless you're very rich. Okay, so my Polaroid was about 60 quid. My iPhone being damaged is at least a couple hundred quid down. My Phantom battery is another 150. Let's say that's, that's 400 quid down into the... Where's the bin? Uh, it's basically just all went into the bin. I could have just burnt some money. I might just burn some money later. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? 